Hi, child of God, you are welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth, ranging from powerful Word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, and many more. All the contents that we create on this channel are purely Christian content, and I encourage you, if you're a believer, subscribe to this channel. I am not telling you stories, and I am not telling you cunningly devised fables. By the privilege of God's mercies, the things we have seen, the things we have heard, the things that our hands have handled, even of the word of life. This is not theory. God's power will turn you to a sign and a wonder if you respect his word. If you respect his power, you will look like a herbalist forever. Most people do not see the power of God because the only thing they respect is his power, not his word. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Now, the man talking to you by the privilege of God's mercies, when it comes to this power ministry bar, honestly, I understand it. You believe me on that. Unfortunately, those who experience the power of God are not those who focus on his power. Those who experience the power of God are those who know what to do with his word. The word of God is currency. When you get to the marketplace of destiny, you exchange it for power. And it is that power that does the purchasing, but it comes with the word. When you enter a mall, you can use your card, but from the gate there is a pass before you even enter the mall. That pass is the word of God. Power is only available at the point of purchase. But at the point of entry, Jesus, the word said, I am the way. He never called power the way. I am the way. You see that now? He sent forth his word. His word healed them. But the dynamics of that healing is that at the point of correcting that anomaly, it was his power. And yet, it was his word. If I ask you to bring me a meal, ladies, you would usually put that meal on a tray. Am I right? So if I say bring pounded yam and uh, what do you take in Jalingo? Huh? Abba, don't, don't do this to me. This is my first night. Huh? Fish. Okay, let's, let's assume whatever you say you are right. So if I say bring whatever you want to serve me, sometimes you see women holding a giant tray and you are wondering what is on that tray you look at something that looks like toothpick something that looks like salt and pepper something that looks like water a glass all kinds of things but it's one big tray carrying them if you ignore that tray you will waste your time because you can't pick everything one by one that tray has the ability to lift everything drop it upon your table but what you eat is not the tray. What you eat is the food. But if you respect the food and ignore the tray, it will not even arrive. The word of God is the conveyor of the possibilities of the kingdom. The word of God is the conveyor of healing. The conveyor of lifting. The conveyor of prosperity. The conveyor of influence. When you embrace the word, you have embraced the tray that has brought your portion. Let me tell you what most of us do. Rather than waiting for the tray in this example to come, you get into the kitchen and you are battling to pick salt or pick something. Your destiny needs that salt, but that's not the way you should get it. The tray, it comes with the word. Are we together now? And God said, let there be light and there was light so if i can find what god has said concerning my life before i focus on what he has said i focus on who said it is he reliable there are wealthy people in your city and some of them are people god has blessed if they look at you and say i want to help you come and take a house tomorrow you will not say your excellency can i have a receipt because uh 
looks like you are inconsistent in your character will you say that you will start rejoicing you will start calling people and say by God's grace God has answered me what happened I spoke to whether a governor or a senator or whoever and he said you will help my family with a house they say so what is your evidence your evidence was the word he gave you unfortunately for him there's no oath there was only a promise you see that now and yet because of the promise alone you rejoice you can't sleep 6 a.m. in the morning you are celebrating what kind of house will it be look at your mind you never doubt for once sometimes it looks too good to be true then you remember that you once told your neighbor and your neighbor got a house I said no he can't be playing with me that is integrity there are things God says concerning you that looks too good to be true like I will give you triplets like I will honor you as a man of God like you will lay your hands upon the sick how do you lay bare hands like this upon an infirmity something that has a medical report and actually expect the person to be healed who do you think you are that is the immutability of his counsel there is nothing I do not believe provided God has said it concerning me I believe it I believe it if he says you will go to the nations of the earth and you will preach Jesus and no gate will shut against you I believe it we are not sufficient in ourselves the results that you see is a product of the simplicity and the foolishness of trusting the integrity of God some of us are too scientific to see God's power we calculate everything and we are used to people disappointing us so we join God in the list this commissioner disappointed me this governor disappointed me maybe God is like them Moses came to God and said who shall I go and tell Pharaoh don't destroy my life I ran away from Egypt there is a case waiting for me in Egypt I killed a man years ago so that they don't go and revisit that case and destroy me who shall I tell Pharaoh has sent me one word I am that I am or one expression he said go and tell Pharaoh search the archives of the gods you know is there such a God with such a name I am that I am thank you so much for engaging this video to the end please before you leave give this video a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel one more thing Share this message with others to bless them. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Believers Global TV. God bless you richly as you support us. See you in our next video. We love you and celebrate you.